Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and I'm going to do another Amazon story. I did the story on Amazon.com um, recently, and I can't believe how popular uh, that video became. Um, maybe I should go into storytelling rather than watch selling, because uh, unbelievable uh, ha how much engagement it got uh, all over. So. Today, in that video, I talked about Amazon UK and how I had uh, left that marketplace um, years ago. Actually, again, very similar. I got booted off, but at least on Amazon.com, they told me why. On Amazon.UK, as you will see, they did not. It's, uh, at the time, it was, very, it was very bad. It was very upsetting. Uh, now, I can, now I look back and I can actually laugh about it. Uh, but just for those that don't know, uh, you know, Amazon obviously based in Seattle is an American company and over the years they've opened up centers in countries all over the world. There's an Amazon Canada, there's a UK, there's a Spain, there's an Italy, there's a Germany, there's an Australia, blah, 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 blah. And Amazon actively goes out to the USA marketplace, every marketplace, and they say to you, say to you as a seller, and I have so many emails to, the, to these wordings that say, Make yourself global. Come and sell on the marketplace in the UK. Come and sell on the marketplace in Germany. Lots of people in Germany are looking for your products, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, they try to poach you and bring you over to their market. So uh, I was on Amazon UK for many years, many years. And then one day when I expected, oh, so let me, let me back up again, I'm sorry. Every two weeks, this is the same on I think on all in all the markets. Uh, every two weeks, Amazon disperses your funds to you, less their less their royalty fee uh, and any other fees that you may have incurred. Uh, they disperse it to you every two weeks, and because I'm in the U.S., I get my funds dispersed to an account that I hold or held, I should say, in the U.K. Anyway, so it came time for my two-week disbursement, and instead of my two-week disbursement, I get an email. And here you can see the email. I'm just going to read it quick. Hello, we found that your account is related to an account that may not be used to sell on our site. As a result, you may no longer sell on Amazon.co.uk. Remove your listings. Funds will be available after any claims and chargebacks are deducted. It takes 90 days, maybe longer. Blah, 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 blah. And at the bottom, you see it says, if you want to appeal this decision, click the appeal button, uh, etc. Regards, it's signed very personally by the seller performance team. So I got this email and I said, what the hell is this about? I have no idea what this is about. Uh, the wording made no sense to me. I tried to Google the wording and you know people had talked about similar instances and I just couldn't figure out what was going on. So instead of appealing the decision, um, I wrote email. Well, first I tried to call and the best part is, is the people who, that seller performance team or whatever it's called, the payments performance team, they do not provide phone support. And nor do they email, actually. They only email canned replies. So I emailed some more, and I get this. Thank you for writing to us. Due to the status of your account, your funds are reserved until we are sure all items have been shipped. Basically, they're going through the same thing. After 90 days of your account closure, uh, we'll give you your money. For inquiries regarding why your account was blocked, contact them. Oh, okay. And then they give you the clause, which, you know, was in the T's and C's that were signed many years ago when the account was open, stating that they really have the ability to do this. Regards, and this time it's signed even more personally. It's Mr. Account Specialist. So, more emails, more attempted phone calls. I got really nice people on the phone over in the UK that, oh, wow, I'm sorry, really want to help you out. I don't understand why this is going on. Uh, let's try, but I'll open a new case for you. I'm going to reach out to the team, blah, 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 and I get Another email. By the way, I'm only going to show like five emails. I have 15 uh, say you know emails that I that I saved uh, in this folder for this whole episode. Most of them are basically just regurgitations of the same email. So I'm just showing you the most important one. So I get this reply. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Uh, this is all so far you know from when the first notice came to this. Th this is all within like a day or two. So it's going very quickly. They do act very fast when they want you out. Uh, and then this one is signed sincerely Amazon payments. Very nice people. Very nice people. So at this point, what the hell am I going to do? I say, you know what? I got to just appeal this. So I write, I go to the appeals, I write my appeal. And my appeal is basically, well, you say I'm related to an account that's no longer, that's not allowed to sell on your site. 
it doesn't make any sense. But the only account that I am is Island Watch. I own the company. I started the company. I have no other partners anywhere in the world. Uh, everything is solely through me. Um, I really don't know what you're talking about, but I'm happy to discuss it. We can open a dialogue. Um, I can, you know, you can show me your evidence. I'll show you my evidence. And let's talk this through um, like rational people instead of like robots. And then I get this. Hello. We reviewed your account and we have decided that you may not sell on Amazon.co.uk. We found that your account is related to another account that may not be used to sell on this site. And then we get this, due to the nature of our business, we do not provide details on our investigation methods. And then the usual BS, ship any open orders, blah, 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 blah. If you have questions about your balance, you can email paymentsinvestigate at Amazon.co.uk. Sincerely, Amazon Payments. So I wrote again. Now you can't appeal the decision anymore because the appeal is final. I continued to write them because I was really fighting this. The UK was a decent amount of business. Um, you know, enough that it kind of hurt a bit. It stung. But really more so that hurt is that I was being accused of something that I don't, I don't know what the hell I did. Um, and that's the worst part where you're being accused of doing something that Man, you got to tell me what I did, and I'm happy to correct it. But right now, I'm like, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't know why you're slapping me on the wrist. So after a couple more emails, I get this one, which is, again, just more of the same. Thank you for writing to us. As you know, your account will be evaluated 90 days after your account closure, which was 10, 5, 16. The 90-day period will expire. So now I have a date, January 3rd, 2017, and I can contact them to get my money back. Okay, so at least, you know, at this point now, I put the whole thing behind me. Not really behind me, it's still, this is the kind of stuff that really gets to me. Uh, but I had things to focus on, it was, you know, October, I gotta get ready, this is Q4, you know, big end of year rush, let's just, uh, let's get on with our lives and get through the year. And then, New Year's Eve comes, and I'm like, ah, I know, the third is coming, I'm very excited. 2017, January 3rd, I get my money back and I can just wash my hands of these people. This one's good. So I'm starting at the bottom of the chain and I just say, hello, 90 days has elapsed. I'm requesting disbursement of my balance of Amazon UK funds. Please advise. And then the next day, I get this nice email. <laughs> it says, you ready? Hello, thank you for writing to us. Please know that we are unable to disperse the funds remaining in this selling account until the outstanding debt due on your other selling account has been paid. At this time, your related selling accounts have an outstanding debt of 367 euro in Germany, 120 pounds in Great Britain, 103 euro in France, 52 euro in Italy, I laugh, and another account with an outstanding debt of 388 pounds in Great Britain. Oh, and 104 euro in Spain. With your permission, we can debit the amount from your current selling account to cover the debt, after which we can release your remaining funds. Please contact us if you have any questions. What are you talking about, people? I have one account. I'm one store. I'm on Amazon.com. I was still on Amazon.ca and I was on Amazon.uk as Island Watch or Long Island Watch UK. Whatever the name I was going by, I'm one company. So, of course, you know, what do you do? You ask, right? I do not understand where these debts have come from since I never sold on these markets. Please advise. And then the response came. And the response is, well, I can look at the paper and read it to you and show it to you on screen, but is exactly the same response, 100%, just like they copied and pasted it. So I went back at them again and I said, okay, I'll play ball. I need to see the invoices for these debts that you're asking me to pay. Because at this point, I just want my money. Now, obviously, there's a decent amount of change they're looking for, but there was more than that in the account. I just want my money to get out. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe I'll just, whatever, I'll just play the game and let me get my money and get the hell out of here. So I say, hey, can you send me invoices, receipt, whatever it is that, why do I owe this money? Let me know. And, you know, we can settle this like people. I get the reply. You know what it is. It's the same exact reply. I'm not going to show it. Same thing. And now I'm um, oh, scratching my head. Not sure what to do here. And then for some reason, uh, a couple mornings later, I had an epiphany. 
I said, oh, you know what? For these three months, the request withdrawal button on my account has been gray. I wonder now that 90 days has elapsed and no claims have been made against me, what color that button is. I log on and oh, the button was yellow. I click it. It says your request for withdrawal has been received. You should expect your funds in one to two business. Sure enough, a day later, all the money is in my account. I withdrew it. I repatriated the funds to the U.S. and I've never communicated. Well, no, that's not, not, not true. I have communicated with them since. Uh, I was done to get all my money. I'm partying. I'm very happy. Excited to be with, you know, done with them. One more follow-up. So I send them an email. You know, this is a little while later. Account status question. This is my third request. Please close my account. My prior request on the case ID was answered with transferred. Somebody went into shortly. Nobody's contacted me. Please close my account. Get back to me with a human response, to which they reply. Hello. Thank you for writing with a request to close your account. As you may know, your selling privileges have been removed. The removal of your selling privileges effectively closes the account. Regards, seller performance team. Again, no one ever signed a letter, ever. No one ever put their name to anything. Um, but that last message is BS. The account's not closed. I can still log in. I can still see everything. People can still send messages if they want for crap they bought two years ago, uh, three years ago, four years ago. I just want to, I just want to be gone and out, but you know, it's kind of like uh, you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Uh, so that was my experience with Amazon.uk. I, as an epilogue, if you will, uh, roughly a year or so later, it's probably the beginning of 2018, I think, I get an email from a manager over in the UK from the wearables department or whatever, and they say, hey, you know, we noticed you used to sell on the UK with watches. Uh, your account was suspended, um, but, you know, you had a great account. We'd like to try to get, we'd like to get back, on, bleh, we'd like to onboard you. And I'm thinking to myself, there's no way in hell you are onboarding me. I'm done. But I'll play. Can you please help me get back on? So I write to them. They say, sure. You know, I'm not quite sure why I was kicked off the platform, but I'm happy to come back. I, if you can let me know what I need to do to rectify, you know, all that BS, all that good stuff that you say in, in corporate lingo. And they reply, look into this, get back to you. Well, that was eight months ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I've sent follow-up emails. They never got back to me. So apparently, uh, I'm in some kind of a black hole. Uh, anyway, that is the UK story. Uh, in my opinion, better than the Amazon.com story. Um, but it shows you how they do not care about their vendors. I say that very strongly. Uh, and I know a lot of people chimed in in the prior video to say that they really don't. They, they are extremely customer-centric or customer-focused. Um, the vendor they don't give a crap about. So anyway, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them. The last video as of the filming of this one had like 1,400 comments or 1,500 comments. I answered every single one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say I don't want to do that again, but if I have to, I will. And I'm going to save the wrist check for the end because I wanted to tell the story. Presage uh, power reserve model and uh, the 009 with single dome sapphire. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.